I believe that they are trying to repress black people because we are the most powerful race that there is on this planet. Now, when I say that, even you, subconsciously, you're starting to question things. Gold is worth less than melanin. We consist of melanin. Melanin processes sunlight and transfers it into energy. We can do that more than any other race on this planet. And when I say we, I'm only 50%. They came to Africa, they done the mad thing to Africa. They try to tell us that they don't know how the pyramids were constructed. They try to tell us that we're more advanced than we are now. They try, oh, let me backtrack. They try, the speed, speed. If we don't know how the pyramids are built, then that means we're still in old technology. They tried to say that we're more advanced now than we were back in the day. But the pyramids were erected on the exact same constellation as Orion's belt in the sky. And the main pyramid was at the exact same coordinates as the figure of the speed of light. We are not more advanced. They are trying to hide the truth. They are trying to hide the truth and poison the youth. Why do you think they're onto us about social media? Because social media is something that they can't control. And if people start saying the right thing on social media, they will not be able to control it. I believe that our race has forgotten ourselves because we are all kings and queens. But in this system, in this world, in this reality, we're made to think that we're not. We're made to think that we're lesser than the average person. 1% control 99% of the population. Wake up, world. Okay, okay. So what do you think, because what do you think black, black people and black countries could do to that? Like, get to at least compete with Europe and USA type of thing. They need to start their own banking system. Oh, bro. That, we and really the fact tried that, that everyone, man. the fact, really the, no, 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 it, no, no, the fact that both of you have gone, oh, no, oh, God. What happened to all of those people when they tried that? Dead. They got killed. Why are we not talking about that? Why were they not allowed to do that? Why did they get killed? It's like we just give up every single time when someone gets striked down. No, but you got to remember, if, if, so, if I'm, imagine you're fighting someone with more firepower than you, more money than you, more connections with you. You can't win that fight. You have to play their game. Exactly. And unfortunately, we're playing their game. Exactly my point. Now, we play their game for what it is until we're in a position where we're able to do that properly. Exactly that. Anyone else right now who's tried to execute on that plan has unfortunately met their demise. Praise be to the highest. However, I believe that there will be a time when the things the roles will shift. Because more people are waking up by the moment. What's that hand symbol you always do though? What, what does that mean? Do you want to explain what this is, brother? What is it? What is it? You want to explain? It's a Rastafarian hand symbol. It means power or connecting all yourself together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To it, connect your circuit. Is that like chakras and that? It's found largely it's in the Rastafarian community. However, it goes back to the Yoga Sutras of Pangea, of Pangea, of Patanjali, sorry. I have so many things in my brain that it's hard to articulate myself sometimes. However, this goes back to Patanjali and the Yoga Sutras. This is yoga. This is connecting the left and the right side of your brain through something they call a mudra, and this one represents power. You often see Andrew Tate do it. And then you wonder why he is where he is. Manifestation and power. Knowledge is power. 